There are plenty of rare items in Borderlands 2. A bee shield with good parts, legendary class mods, friends that want to play with you. The farms are endless, but there's one type of item rarer than the rest. So rare you can't even get it until UVH him. For lessons. For lessons are Borderlands 2's rarest type of item and are questionable in terms of usefulness, but are beloved nonetheless. So, I decided to try and be Borderlands 2 with only pearls. The rules for the run are, I can only have pearlescent gear equipped, my action skill, stock grenades, and cars are allowed, and bar is turned off. Now, I typically do all of my challenge runs in normal mode, where you can't get pearls. At least not normally. There is one way, however. If you win the jackpot on the Tina DLC slots, you have a chance at getting a pearl. But first, I have to get there gearless. So I go to Digistruct Peak to farm early levels for my action skill. Given that I was playing zero, it gives me a safety button whenever I need to escape. Then, I want to do the early Tina strats as I've done many times before, having the golem kill Mr. Bony Pants, blowing up the barrels with a stock grenade, that should be good enough. That's bad. Opening the bar, and doing as many side quests as I could in the process to get extra XP. Now that I had done all of that, it was time to start spinning the slots. But I can't do that. Because I need Iridium. So, how do I farm Iridium without any gear, and while being underleveled? Well honestly, it's pretty easy. There are two chests in the unassuming docks that have a chance to drop four chunks when open. So, just run past the enemies, open the chests, and check piles and pots on the way for the chance of any extra iridium and get to farming. Side note, for the mindless farming, I was on a Discord call with my friends, and it got weird pretty quick. Dude, should I should I add another source uh -oh. capture that just captures somebody's stream in the Discord and put it in the top left of the stream? Yeah, just... <laughs> like, like a TikTok? Like, yeah, like a should, oh wait, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Alright, it's in the top middle of the screen. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've done. Yeah, I put whatever they were playing in Discord on top of my stream because I thought it was funny. So yeah, that was there for the rest of that stream. After farming for about two hours, I had 100 Iridium, which I felt was enough to start spinning the slots. I set my save to read only, so if I didn't get the pearl, I could reset and not have to farm for Iridium again and then I started spinning the slots. Here I want to talk about the odds of winning the jackpot, getting a pearl out of them specifically, and how long it would take me. The odds of winning the jackpot are about a 1 in 5500, and then it's a coin flip for a pearl or a legendary. So it's actually about a 1 in 11,000 to get a pearl. On average, it takes me 10 seconds for a full spin before starting the next one. Having two slot machines, the odds get set back to 1 in 5500. So we take 5500, multiply it by 10 seconds, and get 55,000 seconds which is equal to roughly 916 minutes or 15 hours. So, theoretically, it should take me 15 straight hours of spinning slots to get a pearl. But realistically, it's a 50-50. Either I get it, or I don't. Also, you can get Seraph Crystals here too, which is cool. There isn't any information on the dice roll odds, but I'm just going to assume it's the same as getting a purple at the normal slots, so about a 1 in 600 for Seraph Crystals, which I did get, and had to delete them. Now, I had settled in, ready to give the next week worth of streams to spinning the slots. But I guess the game had other plans for me. Cause, uh, I just make the thumbnail, but then I like I won't have any like entertainment for myself, right? So kind of annoying. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm done! It's done! Oh my god! It's done! I got the <laughs> I got it! I got it! That's way under 6,000! Bro! So I got the pearl way under odds. In fact, it was so quick, it only took me about 50 minutes. Which, if my math is correct, means I got it in around 300 spins. Which is obviously insanely lucky, and I was pretty hyped too. After spinning the rest of my Iridium, and getting nothing because who would have guessed, I went back to DigiPeak and let the Skags jump at me some more and then to Torg DLC, just kind of wandering around, trying to think about how I'd get to level 30 to use my shiny new gun. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that it was level 30, huh? So, how do I get to level 30 without any gear and before touching the main game? Well, the answer was in the Torg DLC. Death Race Tier 3 gives 10,000 XP on completion, and can be done without any gear, being by far the fastest way to farm the experience that I needed. But first I had to get there. After using a car to deal with the enemies outside, ignore the Duck Race gameplay, that's just a bad dream, I had my first real hurdle to deal with, the arena fight. Luckily the first time you do it, there isn't a timer, so you can hide and let the enemies kill each other until only one is left. At least, that's what I thought. Turns out sometimes more than one enemy from a faction is left alive, which means I have to deal with both of them. 
Oh. Okay. Ooh, let's go. Wave three. All right, I just need that blaster to kill everybody except for me. The gladiator is still alive and he's after me. That's it. Un slightly underleveled gearless horde of horrors or battle appetite for destruction, whatever the hell this thing's called. Dude, Piston's kind of weird. He's kind of like, you know, Piston the pervy. Forget Piston the cheater, he's Piston the pervy. Once I'm out of there, I get to the beatdown, run through it without fighting anyone, and then I'm met with my second big hurdle, the bar brawl. Unlike the arena fight, I have a timer, and the bigger enemies that I have to kill don't fight each other. So I had to do it myself. Again, I won't ignore me. What are you doing here? Wait, does sending him down here break his AI? No, because that guy looks pissed still. Dude, this guy's... <laughs> Stop shooting me, I need to kill this guy. This guy looks like he's been hurt, like, in the head. I got my one. I need to get the third. Give me that health stick! Get your ass back here! There we go. That's it. Easy. Not even close. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey! Once that was over, it was time to fight Pyro Pete, which I bet you think was really hard. But you'd be wrong. I'll tell you a secret, but only if you promise not to tell Randy about it. Promise? Good. There's this Pyro Pete cheese where you just spam jump in this corner, and then bait Pyro Pete to jump over to you. Once he's there, he's stuck and can't move. Or hit you. Then you can just beat on him until he dies. There might be some spiderlings that try to attack you, but they're basically harmless. Is he hitting the gritty? Once you're done pounding your Pete, wait, hold on a sec. You can rescue Moxie. All right, everyone be respectful. We're making eye contact here, eye contact. Then talk to Tina, run past all of the loaders, slowly destroy the cookie machines. And then after all of that, Death Race finally opens up. Tier three is doable in the Light Runner. You just have to know the route and not hit invisible objects which there are tons of. Here are some of the ones that hurt me the most. Kill me. Yeah, and makes sense. What? Okay, right. don't go that way anymore. This wow. game is so bad. I don't know why I stuck on the road. Why? That one. What is... No, he's gonna be your only friend. What did I just hit? Oh my God, this game is so trash, bro. Anyways, I hung out on Discord with friends for this part again, so yeah, that second game window is back. Yay. Finally, after doing Death Race for about three hours, I hit level 30. I then equip my hard-earned and definitely not lucky Pearl, spec'd out a one-shot, one-kill build because reloading is faster than waiting to shoot again, and put five points into Iron End because I don't have a shield for the main story. Remember this, it'll be in a Kahoot later. Then, I finally started the main story. All right, Pearl versus Monglet. Knuckle Dragger is harder than any boss in a game I've ever fought before, uh, including Melania. <laughs> can I double shot? Yes, I can. You know what? I'm gonna play it safe and I'm not gonna drop reload the pearl. Oh my! Ah, who doesn't like me? Is that bird after me now? It's flying awfully direct towards me. You're trying to kill me. When enemies are high level, ah, oh, forget about it. It doesn't matter. Did Boom die? Boom, did, did I, I guess Boom died. You're lucky I missed, because now I get to, the Rex is twice as fast as the Unforgiven. You little asshole. You're really going to be hitting a Moonwalk jig on me and make me send my FPS to 30? You little, hmm, okay. I got him. Anyways, I got to kill these guys now. Boosted. And that was awesome. What is the car doing? I'm gonna hit this because I just... Did I just get the car stuck? Ow. Boar, 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 boar. Uh, it's this guy with the thing, right? You can go bye-bye too. What? That guy was waiting around the corner like a Dark Souls enemy. Alright, let's get it. Clean, clean. Do I get the Iridium before or after I help the charity case off the ground? That should be it. Oh, you said the line. That was not it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do this without the car, even though I can. Whoa! 
They're aiming their saw blade thing towards the sky. Not anymore. They aimed it towards me at the end of What? Okay. That guy just tried to ram me off of the ro What is that guy doing? That buzzard is flying into the sunset. That is beautiful. He's turning around. What, what was I doing? Wait, I'm already under half health. I didn't even notice. I knew I was going to be taking damage soon. But I didn't think it would be this soon. I, Mad Mike didn't die in one shot. And I have two, uh, 300, 300 HP. <gasps> Stay away! Hello, Exploder. I throw out Deception. Wait till the last second and then... Uh. Alright, one shot Warden. Two, two, that should be three of three. Why is it one of three? Hi, right, man, you're good. I missed, you get to live. I wasn't anywhere near it! Bro, if he didn't hit me away from the crit spot, I would've got him. I could've one-shot him, I could've one-shot him, I could've one-shot him. How did, did, did I just, did I, did I crush that man? I hope not. I've never met a single person that says the fridge is their favorite map in Borderlands 2. Like, I wonder what, actually, now that I think about it, there's a lot of maps that I can say that for, right? I can say it for Layer of Infinite Agony, the fridge. I wonder what people's favorite maps are in Borderlands 2. Like, Sanctuary, let's not be rude, but it's a basic-ass pick. Sanctuary is my favorite map? Yeah, man, sure it is. You've got to have a different pick. I think, personally, I'm going, like, Flame Rock Refuge, the, or like the Highlands, the Highlands Spire. Just missed my shot, that guy gets to live. Look at this, look at this little rat. Okay, that actually was not bad damage. There we go. I'm looking at the grinder with this thing in my hands, and I don't even want to stand near it. When this video goes out, uh, I don't know, I, I don't, I was be like, I set a light goal and I'll throw my pearl into the grinder, but no, I'm, I don't want to do that. I, this thing is awesome, like, so few people have gotten a pearl in normal mode, and even less have gotten it, and then used it for an entire main story run. It's like too cool to put in the grinder. That was kind of, not a hot loader, bro. I need these two to stop whatever they're doing. Oh, that was clean. All right, Bloodwing. I think Bloodwing's gonna be easy. I missed. That crit did insane damage. I just don't know where this head exists. It's fine. I don't. Oh, that was good. Okay, there we go. Bloodwing killed. There's no intruder. There is no intruder. Do I Facebook shooty? I'm gonna grab it. I'm not promising that I'll do it though. Health, please. That's my first time going down. Didn't last long, but I still went down. Hey! God damn! Hello! Ultimate. If you jump at me... I got better not jump up here. What? He's going space mode! What? That's so scary! That was violent. When I got that, someone commented like, I watched this while eating nachos. Which I was like, that's the best comment I've ever seen. Someone watched my video while eating food, and nachos nonetheless? See, that- Jeez, I was gonna say, that guy doesn't eat food while watching my videos, but... That guy doesn't exist. I, like, I will straight up die if I get hit by a mortar. That's a fire dot. I'm dead because the fire dot. Where's that buzzard at? Okay. Break, I don't really want to be out there, but I got your man. What do you want for BL4? What do I, what do I want for BL4? <laughs> a review code. Hold on. If any, if anybody from Gearbox is watching this, a review code. That's what I want for BL4. <laughs> Easy one shot. I was not even paying attention. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I land that easily. Uh, I still have killer, so I just need to go like that. That was almost a one shot. That was almost a one shot. But anything with the big crit spot is really easy to kill for me. I'm willing to walk away from Facebook shooting. I, you must. No, I don't have to. Why did I even look at chat? <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. I don't have to do it. Facebook Shooty is the, he's like, Facebook Shooty is a metaphor for the man holding you down, not letting you be free. Do I get Jimmy Jenkins here? Well, I guess. Brother, what the? Can't use it, but I can have it in my inventory, right? No, he's down there. Just don't miss. It's not, not my control. What, I got him in the... I hit him in the arm, just not even trying there. Just... I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not doing basic shooting. It's not happening. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm moving on. Why? This is like a vendetta now. See? All this so I can get the crit there. That guy can't get me. He's confused. Wait, does the AI break if you're... <gasps> Alright, here's the... Time for the one shot. There we go. That's what I wanted. Put... Level up. Level 31. Easy. I don't know where I'm putting this perk. I didn't think I'd level up. Okay, I haven't died traditionally. I've fallen off a cliff. But I haven't traditionally died yet. I haven't tr traditionally died. Just excuses for falling off cliff. I haven't traditionally died yet. Uh-oh. I'm looking at my phone right now. I can't even lie to you. I was looking at my phone. My fault. <laughs> Do you ever wonder how invested you should be? Did I just... Uh, uh... That's... Oh, no, wait. If I had realized it quicker, I could have lived. That was my first real death. Falling off a cliff doesn't count. Can I get some heals, Roland? Turret? That's no way to respond to a question. No, he's won. Let's see if I can sneak past without getting the cutscene. Let's go! No! I don't like Pumping Station 2. I know which one it is by heart, because I hate Pumping Station 2. I'm thinking way too far ahead. Sawtooth Cauldron is going to happen first. I have Velocity, a big crit build. Buzzard's Nest will be easy. The under Buzzard's Nest of Smoking Guano Grotto might suck. Why do I know the name? Perma Sharp Handgun. Ooh! Oh, I killed the one guy that was close. Can you die? I got a crit there? Oh. I just need the accuracy to reset, and then I need him to re-peak me. Please re-peak me. Please re-peak me. Please re-peak me. What an asshole. I told you I was getting another death here. I can shoot his toes. Little toes are weak, though. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Let me shoot you! Okay, his toes are also available. Is that not a crit? His head is right there. Bro. What is happening here? What? Oh, I didn't one shot? It was close though. He, I, I, uh, yeah. that, just, that was just a lot of sensory input. I was like, it didn't one shot him, how did he one shot me? And I remembered I had no health, and then the legendary, fo that was just the, look at that, a rubberized pandemic. I had to get really locked in for these buzzards, you know? That thing, that <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? Oh my god, dude. This, this game sometimes. A little bit safer.
Did you? He put the thing in the bubble. Oh no, it's Bailey not in the bubble. All right, later, idiots. Good is a relative term. Whatever, he's dead. Go away. Dude, I don't... Here's the thing. I need to grab it, and I have 94 HP. I need deception so bad right now. What? Oh my... The bleed out was so short. Down here? Okay, I'm so impatient that when I shoot this gun, I'm like clicking a bunch before it's ready to shoot again because I'm just that impatient. I had that equipped. I don't know how long for, but it was shotgun damage, so it didn't matter. That's actually so unimportant that it doesn't even need to go into the YouTube video because it was just shotgun damage. I mean, I'll put it in, but it had no, no effect on the video. Thank God. Restart the run? No. I'm gonna kill Jack with a rarity of weapon he's never even seen. I'll be safe. Boom. Violence. Am I being shot at right now? Is that a pitchfork? What? Which one's the real one? Oh, this one. It's the only one that gives me a crit on. Look at how much health I did to him. That was so easy. <laughs> All right, time for pain. That's actually a not bad amount of damage there. Look, I mean. I was, I'm at 700 health, Lilith. All right. What do you guys say about running to the safe spot? Bro, what the? I thought it was safe there. I watched it too. Like, is that going to hit me? Okay, you know what? Hope you guys like damage, because we're going to be seeing a lot of it. Every now and then I just hit a rack in the process. I can't win. I can't win. This game is so hateful and spiteful. It's insane. I'm getting in the arena. I'll, I'll wait for this attack to end, but then I'll get in the arena and shoot him in the crit spot. What even is this game? Hey, hey, hey. Hey. I'm just gonna die to fuck. I'm leaving. I can just do that? I'm alt f 4 the game so it doesn't complete that save. I don't want to scare you guys, but just ignore what's on my screen right now. Just ignore that. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. Dude, I don't want to do Hero's Pass again. Thank God. Okay, we're good. We're just gonna take it slow and steady, you know? The brave Vault Hunter fighting right now. <sighs> it's so crazy to say that I have a pearlescent and I'm sitting up here doing this. Don't worry, I'll get down there and finish him off like on, like, with bravery. Man, screw it, I'm going in. I died. I flat out died. I died! No, I can do this. What did I second wind off of? I don't care. Stop doing that. You're dead. You're dead. You are dead. So, uh, that was a pretty thrilling fight, huh? Um. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm just gonna go for a... Uh, that's it. And that is how I beat Borderlands 2 with only pearls. With the end of this video, I feel I can say that I've completed gambling in Borderlands 2. There's no other gambling related challenge left for me. Maybe it's time to take my gambling talents to a different Borderlands game. Anyways, like and subscribe, do all that. I also stream this entire video on my Twitch. Go check it out. I have plenty of cool runs happening there soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, gambling is pure luck. Unless you're me. Then it's skill. See ya.